Hello everybody. So this is a continuation of our math homework. And so we're going to carry on with section 17, continuing to be able to read and learn more how to interpret decimals. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Let me go ahead and pull up uh, notes over here. There we go. All right. So I've got that. And the first question is, read the following decimal and write them in, or read the following decimals and write them in words. So what is our first one? Our first one is point, it's a 34 hundredths, 34 hundredths. So let's go ahead and pull up our annotation software here. There we go. So our first one is 34 hundredths. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy that prompt. So number 17, read the following decimals and write them in words. Write, oh, that's a little too close. It's not a run on word and write them in words. Okay. Read the following decimals and write them in words. Excellent. So what is our first one? Let's go ahead and copy it over. It is 0.34. So I'm going to go ahead and write that here. I'm going to go ahead and add a zero, 0 0.34. So this translated into words is, and I'll just use a little arrow. So you can either use the arrow or you can use the word is. Um, well, I'm gonna do the arrow. Is. Thirty. Four hundredths hundredths there you go point three four is thirty four hundredths so how did i derive that remember that in decimals as you move to the right of the decimal place you uh, start off with tenths travel to hundredths thousands, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, millions, ten millions, hundred millions, uh, billions. So you remember how every three, um, every three uh, positions is what's considered a period. So you start off with tenths, hundredths, thousandths, that's your first period, that would be your thousandths period. And then you have um, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, and so that's thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, can't speak right now, um, and that would be your hundred thousandths, I believe, your, your thousandths period as well, so it's a little tricky, but yeah, you can see that there's a little bit of overlap there. So with that in mind, we'll carry on and just do the translations. So what is number two? Number two is 0 0.751, 0 0.751, 0 0.751. And remember that you have access to this 
textbook on my GitHub repository. So just get on there, pull a copy off yourself, and you can be following along with these activities. Catch me where I mess up. So 751, and this is going to be tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So this is 751 thousandths. Seven hundred fifty one thousandths seven hundred fifty one thousandths. All right, what's number three? Go ahead, copy it over. 0.03 or 0.03. Depends on your region. 0.03. Okay, what is this? Tenths, hundredths, three hundredths. Three hundredths. Next, number four. Lots well, of terrible four. There we go. A little better. Number four is uh, point nine two eight zero. So zero point nine two eight zero. Now, because they've added a zero at this position, we do have to include it in our sounding off, if you will. So let's go ahead and take a look at how many positions we have so that we can uh, determine the fraction. Not so this is tenths, hundredths, thousandths ten thousandths so this is going to be nine thousand two hundred eighty ten thousandths nine thousand two hundred eighty Ten thousands, and in this context, that's a hyphenated word. Ten thousands. There you go. Nine thousand two hundred eighty. Ten thousandths. Fantastic. Next, number five. Point eight zero seven zero. Zero point eight zero seven zero. Once again, because they have the zero here at the last position, we do need to include it in our calculations. So here we go. Tenths, hundredths, thousandths, once again, ten thousandths. So you're beginning to see a pattern here in that if you can recognize how many decimals out and then you just memorize the correlation between the number of decimals and the particular fraction, that will help you a lot. So four decimals out is ten thousandths. And the numerator is eight thousand seventy eight. 
and this was ten thousandths. Eight thousand seventy ten thousandths. Excellent. Next one. Number six. Point two four three zero five. Point two four three zero five. Two four three zero five. Two four three zero five. Translated to words. So we first start off with the numerator portion. So this is 24,305. And then what's the denominator? It will be tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths. So now you can see five, five, des uh, five positions after the decimal point is hundred thousandths. So we go ahead and translate that. So this is 20 four thousand three hundred five And that is hundred thousandths. Hundred hyphen thousandths. Twenty four thousand three hundred five hundred thousandths. Number seven. Point two zero four five six. Point two zero four five six. Okay. So you see that we can already borrow something from our previous example in that five positions to the right of the decimal point is going to be our hundred thousandths position. So we already have the denominator and we can see that we're pretty much going to have the same uh, uh, numerator as well in that it's going to be 20,000. This one, the only difference is going to be our um, our hundreds period, and that is 456. So 20,456 hundred thousandths. Twenty thousand four hundred fifty six and this is hundred thousandths. Very good. And our final homework uh, problem for this particular section is number eight, and the decimals are point three eight zero seven one point three eight zero seven one. Three. 
38071. So I could do better than that. Look at that. Those decimals aren't even lined up. Not that it matters, but they're almost lining up here. Three zero. No, I forgot what it was. Three eight zero seven five one. Three eight zero seven five one. We now have six decimals to the right of the decimal point. This is now moving us away from the hundred thousandths territory down one tenth, or it's moved us down by a tenth, which means we're now in the millionths range. So whatever this numerator is, it will be over a denominator of a millionth, millionths. So let's go ahead and read off the numerator. The numerator will be 38,000, oh no, 380,751 millionths. So let's go ahead and write that out. Three hundred. Eighty thousand seven hundred fifty one and Oh, no, this is not and, this is not a mixed decimal. So 380,751 millionths. There we go. So this was a set of eight practice problems for being able to read decimals and write them in the words. This was the conclusion of today's video. Um, tomorrow, or not tomorrow, but uh, next time we meet, we will go over section 18, which is being able to read and write uh, mixed decimals. So this is where you have your integer, integer portion, and then you have your decimal portion, what is known as a mixed decimal. Thank you very much for watching, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.